Okay, I'm going to go through this video pretty quickly. So pause the video when appropriate and take some notes. We're supposed to find the area under this curve right here on the interval from negative 1 to 0 using a Riemann sum, taking the limit of that sum as the number of rectangles approaches infinity. Okay, so I've rewritten the function this way. 26x squared times the quantity x plus 1, same function. Here's the graph of that curve from negative 1 to 0. And this picture shows this interval divided into five equal rectangles with right-hand endpoints. And we want to keep dividing this interval into n rectangles and then let n approach infinity. So the width of each equal subinterval is going to be the right-hand endpoint, which is 0, minus the left-hand endpoint, which is negative 1, divided by the number of rectangles. So each rectangle will have that width right there. That's delta x. And instead of using c sub k, I used x sub i for the right-hand endpoint. So picture starting at negative 1, and to get to the right-hand endpoint, for the first rectangle, you add on one of these widths. To get to the second endpoint, you add on two of these widths. And to get to the ith right-hand endpoint, you add on i of those widths. So there is a formula in terms of i and n for the ith right-hand endpoint. So if we plug that into the f function, we will have a formula for the height of the ith rectangle. So we're plugging that number into f to get that height. Okay, so here's 26. Here's x squared because that is the right-hand endpoint of the ith rectangle. And then we multiply that by x plus 1 or 1 plus x sub i. And you can see these 1 and negative 1 combined to 0. So it's 26 times this binomial squared. There's the binomial squared times i sub n, i over n, rather. Okay, that's a formula for the height of the ith rectangle. If we go to board 2, there's that formula again. And now we want to find a formula for the area of the ith rectangle. And that means we multiply by the width, length times width. This first two factors, or three factors, was the height. This is the width, or delta x. And if you simplify that by distributing i over n squared times each term, this is what you get. So that's a formula for the area of the ith rectangle. And now what we want to do is sum up those areas from i equals 1 to n. And so there is the 26 times the sum from i equals 1 to n of this expression right here. We can break that apart using summation theorems. Remember, n squared is, n is just a constant. So I can pull that constant out front from this term. And I've got the sum from i equals 1 to n of i. I'm not going to re recite it all, but there, there's what it looks like after we distribute the summation symbol. Uh, and now what we have to do is see if we can come up with an expression just that just has the letter I in it, uh, just the letter N in it. So here's the summation formulas that we're going to use. There's the sum from I equals 1 to N of I can be replaced with this, no I's. Similarly, for i squared and i cubed. So here is that summation notation, but we're going to replace each of these with their equivalent expression in terms of n. So here's n times n plus 1 over 2. Here's the formula for i squared, and here's the formula for i cubed. And if you simplify each of those, uh, 
I'm not going to go through all of that, but see if you can follow along how we get from here to here and from here to here. And so now we've got a formula. Just to give you an idea, I divided n into n squared and got an n. So there's a 2n in the denominator. And then I separate that into two separate fractions. n over 2n is 1 half. 1 over 2n is 1 over 2n. Same idea for the rest of these. Okay, so here is a formula in terms of n for the sum of n rectangles. And now if we let the number of rectangles approach infinity, that means every one of these terms that has n in the denominator will approach 0. So all that remains is 1 half minus 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. If you add those fractions, you get 1 twelfth. 26 twelfths reduces to 13 six. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.